Back at Winton Motor Raceway, round three of the Fujitsu V8 Supercar Series, getting set for race two of the weekend. And the grid for this race is the reverse top ten, so that moves the young Kiwi debutante, Daniel Gillison, in the second Greg Murphy Racing VE to the front row of the grid. James Courtney, this track, 12 turns, 3 Ks. It's a tight, tricky place. Yeah, look, Nunes, you've got to really look after your tyres around this place, and uh, the boys have really got to take care up through 7, 8, 9, not to burn the rears out. And this track is the test track for many teams in both the Championship Series and also the Fujitsu Series. And there's a few likely lads looking on. Craig Lowndes, Mark Dutton and Roland Dane from Team Vodafone seeing how their enduro signing Steve Owen goes as we head on to the warm-up lap for this second race. And as I mentioned, the young Kiwi, first ever start in a V8 supercar, and he goes to the front row of the grid. Oh, we know these things are tricky. We saw what happened last round with young McLaughlin, so uh, let's hope he gets off the line there nicely. Of course, Cameron McConville will start from 10th now. You'll notice Jack Perkins is starting from 15th. He was given a post-race 15-second time penalty for that contact with Scott McLaughlin, so that moves him back on the grid. Marcus Sakanovic was dumped back to 19th because of a post-race penalty for contact with David Russell. Paul Fiori's car won't start, it's too badly damaged, and Owen Kelly's car was damaged in practice on Friday. It will not be on the grid. Ben McCashney's on the front row, alongside Daniel Gillison. How are the rookie nerves? Bit of creeping there. He's got a cracking start for the young, ki the young kid. How is that? The rookie has only ever raced a Formula Ford in a Toyota Racing Series car, has never run a V8 supercar <laughs> until this weekend. He's, he's got the field he's, nerves. He's brained them. It's what awesome a stars. Action packed in the back there. Aaron Russell is in second spot already. Ben McCashney in the PlayStation Commodore, but the fast guys are just trying to push their way through. Young McLaughlin's following Moffat, which is a smart move. Good boy to learn off. And this reverse top 10 race, it's so easy. Look at him go, Look at that gap. That is not <laughs> Steve Owen, we have to point out. That is Daniel Gillison. His That's only awesome. ever V8 experience was 10 laps in a ride oh. car. Hampton Downs in New Zealand, and McCashney makes a mistake, but he's under massive pressure from some very fast cars. Yeah, look, David Russell, seasoned campaigner. The guy knows what he's on about, and uh, I'm sure he's going to try and hunt this young fella down. McCashney in his first appearance of the season, his family owned and run team prepare this car in Trentham in country Victoria look at this Aaron Russell the young teenager is under fire from Rodney Jane who's had a really solid run in the Bob Jane team arts Falcon oh, he's being a bit too kind here with room on the exit could have squashed him and uh, got away with this so he's gonna be hung out to dry up into turn 11 here Rodney's fighting the flu this weekend but it's not affecting the driving picks up a spot as McCashney runs a little wide at 11 see if that was me I would have driven uh, Mr Jane out onto the grass there because you know he's lost a couple of extra spots out of it we'll keep an eye on Steve Owen and Cam McConville how they work their way through this field don't forget two sets of tyres for each car over the course of the three races and now Rodney Jane makes the move but look who's coming it's McConville yeah McConville's coming through pretty quick this is where his experience will show Nunes uh, with these two young kids coming uh, passing through like that it uh, yeah, really shows his experience McCashney settles in behind. Gillison is being caught by David Russell in the Team Jayco Falcon, which actually slipped onto six cylinders at the end of race one. That's why he got passed on the runs of the line. Frustrating through the whole race, and that happened at the end for him. But uh, he's showing him a clean pair of heels at the moment. He's catching, catching the leader pretty quickly. Aaron Russell slipping back. Moffat through. Here comes Tim Blanchard who's got some backing from Siramay Wines, tested Greg Murphy's car on Friday here. I thought you were going to say he's testing some Siramay Wines there for well, a second, man. Well, it could, be, it could be as well. Given a drive in the Castrol Edge Commodore on behalf of owner Paul Morris. McLaughlin's doing well here, Nerd, and he's coming through pretty pretty quick. He's keeping up with Blanchard there, who's uh, got a lot more experience. He's got he's keeping Jack behind him. So, you know, cracking effort for the young kid. And Scott's an apprentice at Stone Brothers Racing, so he was in there with the team repairing this car after the damage from Queensland Raceway as Owen makes the lunge at turn 11 and James Moffat will follow him through. But Gillison has led a couple of laps here. This is great experience. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's going to have his work cut out for him now, keeping Russell behind him. Look at these guys in the back. They're still going. McLaughlin again. Oh, he's launching. doing well. He was launching a big move. Speaking of moves, Russell, this is for the lead. His experience will show here. And through he goes. But Gillison plays it really, really smart. And talking to team manager Dean Lilly and Kev Murphy, team owner, they are really, really impressed. A-plus for effort from this kid. Yeah, no, that was really sensible. He knew he was, uh, he was a quicker car and he just got out of his way and lives to fight another day. James Moffat, the Norton 360 Falcon run this year. 
by Ford Performance Racing. They had an absolute shocker at Queensland Raceway. He's driven Steve Richards FG in the Friday co-driver practice sessions, but they've just made this car a little bit easier to drive, and it's starting to show, but remember, this track is their home test track as well. Yeah, if he's going to do well, he's going to do well here, and, uh, you know, he's really got to pick up his game if he's going to be, you know, a title contender in this championship, so... Uh We'll see what he does this weekend. Just in third spot there is the J Motorsport Commodore, Nick Perkat. And that's the older model VZ Commodore run by the South Australian team. They started quite slowly in practice this weekend. Just struggled for balance, but they've switched this year. Of course, they're based in Adelaide, but they're using Winton as their test track, and that's showing as well. Yeah, look, uh, Russell's getting away here. He's doing a great, clean, clean job. Um, Perkat should be in the second, only in a couple of laps. He's uh, definitely got the pace on him here. This car that Jillison's driving is the ex-Greg Murphy Sprint Gas Commodore that Murph and Mark Scaife raced in the Enduros last season. But at the moment, David Russell is clearing away. Race two, round three of the Fujitsu V8 Supercar Series. Back at Winton with the Fujitsu V8 Supercar Series. And while we were away, Cam McConville was getting down to work. Look at this move. Wrong side, wrong Drives side. Drives onto the grass like I would have been. Good work there. <laughs> Rodney Jane returning serve, so McConville was back That's up a to huge lunge. Switch back. Owen. Oh, got enough. And McConville wasn't done there. He got through on young Nick Perkett, the reigning Formula 4 champ. Didn't make it as difficult. He's coming home strong here, Ernan. Yeah. And McConville was launching a move. He got through on Daniel Gillison, our pole sitter, as he continued this charge to the front. And now Gillison falling back into the clutches of Nick Perkat. This is the fight for third place. Shane trying to work out which way the track goes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on with the, uh, the Roman ears there either. A little strange. <laughs> Might be able to pick up some weird frequency with those. Gillison's doing a cracking job here. Still third, nine laps in. He's, uh, yeah, top job. He's got to look out for his teammate Steve Owen. He's on the way through. Here's David Russell, the team Jayco Falcon. Comfortably in front. Cam McConville from 10th on the grid up to 2nd. Moving very nicely. There's Gillison. Fourth's Percat. Then it's Owen, Moffat, Blanchard and Scott McLaughlin who's just tagged on the back of this freight train and is keeping in touch with these more experienced drivers. Look, we really haven't seen much from Moffat this weekend. I really would have thought he would have done a lot better. Um, but, you know, it's still quite early in the race. He's still got quite a few laps to go. They are bunched. So uh, let's see what he can do. Now Nick Percat looking for the inside at turn 10. Down the inside, get the job done. Comes into this round, squeezes him on the exit. See him have to get out of the gas there, which allowed the rest of them to go through. It's, uh, it was a pretty good thing he done by Percat. Gillison, you wouldn't be too happy about it, though. He drops right back into the middle of the pack Switch under fire McLaughlin. from McLaughlin, who is trying to zero in on the Greg Murphy Racing Commodore. That's, that's probably a little bit of experience there. If he was you know, a bit more of a season campaign, it would have dragged him on the outside and got the switch back. The question is here, can Owen get another spot from Nick Perkat? Because the grid for race three is the aggregate of the first two races. Glockland, beautiful pass there. It, it is a tough spot to pass. Uh, it does look a lot easier than what it actually was, so good effort there. Tim Blanchard, the ex-James Moffat, ex-Craig Lowndes Falcon, being run by Sonic Motor Racing this season. Jack hasn't really come through like I thought he would this time. It's, uh, I might be playing his cards a little. His dad, keeping an eye on him, might give him a few tips afterwards, but, uh, yeah, I thought he would have come through a bit harder. He hasn't been able to make an impression. This is the same car that he raced to a podium at Queensland. Oh. Ronnie Jane just showing the nose, but Jack has switched numbers for this round, but it is still the same car. It's owned by... James Rosenberg and announced this week that Jack will team up with Tim Slade in the Wilson Security Falcon from Stone Brothers for the Enduros. But Nick Perkett here is under the gun and he's got three very fast cars and much newer cars that he's lined up behind. And you saw Moffat there into the back of him under the tree in turn eight. It's, uh, he's getting frustrated. Owen's a tough man to pass. He's a lot of experience and uh, yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping him behind him. Blanchard, cracking effort there, hanging on with these guys. A rookie. First season in V8 Supercars, former Australian Formula 4 champion. It's his old car racing him. You don't want your old car in front of your new car. And this is the other car from the Sonic team, Rodney Jane, the Bob J Team Arts Falcon. Good solid run this weekend. Here comes the move, turn one, it's on. Brave place. Oh, they're off! 
He's off! Just got a bit of the curb on the run either turn one. They both go through the grass. Both will continue. Those flagmen are back to the earn their money every weekend. <laughs> There's plenty going on. Let's have a look at it from the reverse angle. Uh, definitely the curb there that does it, and he just catches him. And Gillison gave him plenty of room there. He didn't turn in, gave the Falcon a lot of road. I'd say it's a little bit too much commitment from Jane there. That's what's, uh, what's done this. No flag, he's, he's definitely got his eyes closed. One either side, <laughs> and out they go. Back up front, third place, Nick Perkat. Still under fire, but no one's really made a move here. He's doing a great job keeping Owen behind him. Yeah, but these guys, looks like they've all uh, all done their tyres in racing each other, and now they're just uh, trying to get it home. Last lap in race two. Out in front, David Russell has cleared away. Cameron McConville in second spot. This is the fight for third. And Nick Perkat and both Tim Blanchard, in fact, this is the end of what they're committed to in terms of their budgets. They were committed to the first three rounds of the championship. They came in this weekend, second and third Blanchard and Perkat. So a great advertisement for them to keep going into the future rounds. Yeah, it'd be a shame to lose uh, two rookies like that with this much talent. Here's David Russell, the team Jayco Falcon is on its way home. It's been a while between drinks. He Definitely needs this. He hasn't won a race since Sandown last year. That was a long, long time ago. But this is a bit of sugar for Team Jayco and Matthew White's team. Race two will go to Ford. David Russell bounces back in the Fuji 2 Series. But the Miners, McConville's home in second. Nick Perkett's going to hang on. That's a cracking job. He's done fantastic here to have the heat of four cars behind him and still pull it home. Good experience for him. The sip and safe Commodore makes it home to the chicken flag. But David Russell, we didn't think it would take this long to get a win. McConville in second. He'll start from pole for race three. Jack Perkins, Rodney Jane and Jeff Emery. Great job from the back of the grid, 22nd to 10th. But even though it's only a half points race, 60 points to the winner, David Russell knows a win is still a win. David, congratulations. Your first Fujitsu race win of the year. Tell us how it all worked out. Yeah, well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, <laughs> I sort of planned to have it at Adelaide, but um, look, I, I said to you at the start of the weekend, hopefully you'd be talking to me, and um, yeah, we've made it happen. Um, look, a, a reverse grid race, yeah, I'll, I'll take a win any day, but we still had to fight hard. We start out of um, out of P6, so we still had a bit of work to do, and um, you know, it was a bit disappointing what happened yesterday when we were in, in for a good result, but um, hey, we've bounced back. Stick with us, the third and final race is yet to come. It's a longer distance, and the round win is on the line.